What's up guys? Today we are going to talk about the Ulanzi, and I have no idea if I'm saying that right, mini carbon fiber tripod. As photographers, much like camera bags, we are always searching for the perfect tripod. And unfortunately with so many options on the market, it's nearly an impossible task. As a photographer of almost 10 years, I have definitely owned my fair share. The one that I happen to be holding in my hand right now is made of real carbon fiber. It has an all metal machined ball head, extendable legs, and all for the price of $70. Let's dig into it. Ulanzi is a company that I stumbled onto a year or two ago when looking for an all metal construction cell phone mount for my iPhone. I found one on Amazon, it was about $15. I took the plunge and honestly, I was super happy with it. When I got it in, the build quality was great and it did exactly what it needed to do. It held my camera firmly in place and never showed any signs of wear or tear. So my first impressions of the company were good. Ever since I've been back vlogging again over the past year, I've not really been satisfied with the tripod options that I've had at my disposal. Of course, of course, I started with the Joby Gorillapod and I've had that before, even many years ago, the first time that I was vlogging. And you know the story, the more that you use them, they get loose and they don't hold up as well. Um, and also, I just find them to be generally unstable and kind of janky. Additionally, the Joby Gorillapod that I had been using didn't offer enough reach with my 24 millimeter lens on my Sony body. So I was looking for something with extendable legs that would help me get a little bit more reach. After looking for what seemed like hours, I stumbled upon this Ulanzi mini carbon fiber tripod. And I have to say, I was a little skeptical of it to begin with, just because of the feature set that it claimed to have for $70. I was like, there is no way that this thing can be made of real metal, a real aluminum machined ball head and real carbon fiber legs. It just seemed too big to be true if I'm honest. And if I'm not mistaken, when I bought it, there were only seven or eight reviews on it really not a lot of opinions from the community. So I didn't know if I should buy it or not. I can always return it to Amazon in the event that it lets me down. And truly enough, just before my trip to Maine, this little thing finally came in. Now let's take a look at it. The legs are made out of eight layer carbon fiber and they are extendable like I just explained. These are very, very lightweight legs. The tripod does have some heft. That's brought on primarily by the ball head. And like I said, that is all metal. It's a very easy to carry tripod. And when it is collapsed down like this, it's very small and compact, so that's great. Uh, the, the tripod head does have a 360 degree panoramic head, so you can loosen this little knob here and it will twist all the way around. It isn't a fluid head, so it's going to be a little bit janky if you're trying to do those nice pan shots, but for vlogging purposes, it's great. At the top, it holds a standard Arca Swiss style plate, which is great because I'm in the Peak Design system. I use their tripod, so I'm full Arca Swiss all the way across my cameras, so I'm full Arca Swiss with all of my stuff makes it really easy moving back and forth between this and my Peak Design tripod. The head supposedly has a two kilogram weight limit, so I'm really pushing it with my Sony 2414 and my A7C combination, but it feels like it's holding up just fine. But I have to say, it's a pretty weird effect when if you do have it kind of extended in vlogging mode, and I'm gonna do that for you right now. When it's all the way out, the camera feels very, very heavy when it's out on the end, and there is a physics principle for that that I do not know. I have to say, I've owned a number of compact travel tripods over the years, but I can say without question that this is one of the best. From the high level of build quality with the durable materials used to the collapsing legs, this thing is frankly a miracle. There are a few limitations though that come with this tripod, such as the limited angles. Once you got it all the way extended, the tripod only really locks in this position. So this position or closed, if you want a secure hold on your camera. So that's kind of inconvenient. There's no way to tighten them down and lock them midway. I think with a little more engineering, they might have been able to resolve that problem. The other thing is, like I said, once it's fully extended, holding the camera out does make your camera feel like it's very, very heavy. So if you're not pumping iron, if you're not super strong, um, it could cause you some problems. So just bear that in mind. If you're looking for a compact travel tripod at a reasonable price, I think the Ulanzi Carbon Fiber Mini Tripod is an excellent option. I've used it for almost every vlog that I've made over the past couple weeks. I've been really happy with it. So as a vlogger, I can recommend this to you 100%. If you do have other uses though, I don't know how well it's gonna be. It's a fine enough tripod to set up for landscape photography and all that kind of thing, but you do have to realize you're very limited. Like. It, it, it's possible that this thing isn't gonna offer you the shot opportunities that you would need for more serious types of photography. But for vlogging, holding the camera at arm's length, it's perfect. But that's my review of this little tripod, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I've got plenty more reviews and different types of content on the way for this channel. But as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.